Hi everyone, my name is Matt Nielsen. I'm a lead consultant at Sumpton Associates and I'm going to be walking you through the Strava analysis report today. So this is using data from the Strava API and the report itself is designed to analyze a runner's performance both in the current week and over the last 12 weeks. So if we start off in this top left, we can see the current distance run in this week. Uh, and that's in kilometers. So 10.1 kilometers so far on this week. And we can see that is slightly down on our goal. Uh, but it is up on last week. So sort of mixed there. Going across, we can also compare our distance versus our goal for the last 12 weeks. So we can sort of see here consistently slightly running less than our goal. And then finally, on the right hand side, we can see the number of runs at each distance. So we've got one run at 3K. 16 at 5k and one at 11k and moving down to our secondary kpi we have average pace in minutes per kilometer uh, for this week it's currently 5.8 uh, which is close to our goal but it is still a little bit too slow uh, but it is it's also you know higher than last week so slower than last week so again not hitting either of our targets really there for average pace and we can see again over the last 12 weeks We've only really been close to our goal in week nine, where we're at ever so slightly slower than the goal pace. And again, finally, moving over to the right-hand side, we can see the average pace by distance ran. So unsurprisingly, 3K is going to be a little bit quicker than our 11K, which is over six minutes on average. We've got some uh, lesser important KPIs down at the bottom then. Things like speed, heart rate, and elevation gain. And we've got all of those uh, versus the previous week. And we've also got a nice spark line as well. So we can see the trend. And then finally, in this bottom right, what we have is the distance run with each pair of running shoes. So we want to make sure that we're not running too heavily with one shoe. You know, we want to increase their longevity. Um, we don't want them to break early by running too far in them too soon. So here we can just monitor and make sure that these are kind of balanced between each other. Now, if we go through to the second screen, we can dive into a little bit more detail into individual runs. So we can select a run either by date or by this little name here. So 5k afternoon run, for example. And once we've selected it, we get to see this map. So a point to point map, start and finish. So we can see what route was taken. We also have other information about the run, such as the distance, time it started, moving time in seconds, and then also uh, what running shoe the race was running. And then the right-hand side of the screen is all about comparing this particular run to other runs of a similar distance. So this one had a pace of 5.55 per kilometer. And we can see from the little narrative that we've got that this was 12.4 seconds slower per kilometer. Uh, than the average for runs of a similar distance. So definitely quite a bit slower per kilometer this run. And we can actually see this if we look at this sort of distribution chart on the right hand side. It starts at 521 per kilometer and goes all the way up to 641 per kilometer. And this run is right at that far end, so right at the slower end. Uh, and we can see the average is sort of in between 540 to 545 as well. And we can also see that uh, here where it says that this run is actually ranked 32nd out of 33 runs of a similar distance. So second slowest ever 5k. Moving down, we have the heart rate. So heart rate for this particular run was 164 and that was 10 beats per minute faster than the average. So actually this workout was slower than average and the heart rate was uh, faster than average. So I was working harder and it was much slower, unfortunately. Uh, we can kind of see that here. Uh, on this scatter chart where I've got pace versus heart rate. So as we move higher up into that top right corner, we are getting slower and working harder. And then down in this bottom left corner, it is easier but quicker. So this particular run up towards that top right, it was a hard, slow run. And again, finally, we've got those other KPIs like speed, elevation gain and cadence or sort of number of steps per minute. 
Right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, please keep an eye out for new reports that are going on to that Power BI Partner Showcase um, from Simpson Associates. Thanks for watching.